This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. We'll party next door at the after party for a show. L.A. people are in the crowd, I guess, and they started to st- – or it's probably just fans, right? And they're trying to, like, pretend to bang on a party next door. So he starts banging back with gang signs. <laughs> I, th- I think that's funny on, you know, party next door. Did that back. He started giving them the same signs back. Because <laughs> it's so stupid. You're at his party and you're trying to bang on him. Let the man have his party. You came to his party looking for him for no reason, right? Let the man enjoy his night. You know, he worked hard. He, he's performing his music for his fans. Let him have his night. Jeez. So I guess Drake is going to take it easy this year, and he's going to... uh, I think this is smart. Don't drop another album. Don't waste music, right? Go into a different genre this year. R&B. That's what he's not playing in rap right now. He realizes eh, the crowd really isn't feeling you right now. They, they, They want you to come down. So let Kendrick have his moment. See if Kendrick even drops his album this year. I doubt he does. I doubt Kendrick drops this year. I just have a feeling that Kendrick is going to chill. Keep talking about his album's almost done. There ain't no, no plans of him dropping an album. The moment's done. We've moved on from Not Like Us, okay? Mustard didn't translate to his album. He sold paper, you know? So, and Kendrick's going to come with good music. He teased a good music, a good song, I'm sorry, a good song before uh, the Not Like Us video played. It's going to be a good album. I'm, I'm sure of it, you know. But he's got to drop. Cardi B has realized to not play with her marriage. She cla- Now she claims, and, and I don't like this. If you have a family... She's probably like, oh, I overreacted when she put the papers in, right? Cardi B says, media source has it wrong about the divorce. Offset helps me a lot. What does that have to do with anything? I don't think Offset's a bad father. She, what caused Cardi to file file for for divorce from her husband earlier this week? She says, as a mom, she expects a partner who contributes fully and that puts the family first. This just wasn't happening. In general, he doesn't support her like a husband should. Well, he's not around her a lot, right? But Cardi B, really, you're not going to find another guy. Newsflash. You're not. You have three kids with Offset. Yeah, you'll find a guy. But will you find a guy that's going to take on another man's three children? You know? That's hard. Just like a lot of women won't take on a guy that has children with multiple women, you know? Because, you know, then you're not the focus anymore. Spread thin. Never in my career, no matter what I went through, I had friends or family go to media. So I don't know who's the source for this magazine. Even with my filling, I'm not asking for child... Finally. Why did I say filling? <laughs> Even with my filing, I'm not asking for child support. My claim is for him to only pay for the bills he already pays on the kids and the new one. So she really has filed. I don't know. I hope this isn't like some publicity stunt for her album. That's all I could say. You know? It's wild. Big Sean. You know, I was listening to his earlier music. I was listening to Finally Famous series 1, 2, and 3. Big Sean's a good rapper, but he's not nowhere close. I was listening to some of his albums and stuff. He's nowhere close to being the top rapper. I'm sorry. He's not. He is not. He's delusional for thinking that. And Big Sean, I have to say, is too soft 
to try to you know how he plays with this thing where I'm the best and everything. When you were when you say you're the best, you gotta um you gotta fight for that spot. So you gotta like diss people and all this other stuff. And that's not in Big Sean. He's very soft. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying, oh, he's soft. And I'm just telling you, this is how I see it. Big Sean is soft, right? He he is easily bruised right he almost he, he was crying on the Charlemagne thing talking about a moment 20 years ago when he almost quit rap and went to college right and he said my mom wouldn't let me do that and he almost it was a moment dog it was a moment I've had lots of moments I don't sit around and cry about them on, on, on interviews you talk about it Talk about the moment where you had a decision to cry about it still? Dude, you're living in your emotions, you know? Calm down. Yeah. Because you could realize your whole life could have been different at that point, right? In a negative way, because obviously you made it as a rapper. There's no reason to cry, though. I'm serious. Like, I don't know, man. I, I'm Maybe I'm just different. I don't believe in, um, I believe in being an emotional, like you can, it, it's healthy to be emotional, but to be emotional in an interview to try to get sympathy. I mean, this is part of Big Sean's rollout. You know, he was pretty, you know what? I wasn't, I was curious what he was doing in that live where he's like, yeah, I don't know what to do, bro. Cause like I was talking to people when, you know, they're telling me to do this big rollout. I'm going to just play the music. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, let's get right to it. Then he proceeds to do a rollout. Sneaker shopping. Interview here. With this influencer here. Do this here. And, you know, that's playing the game and that's a rollout. But I thought he was on the, you know, wh wh which one are you? Are you on the premise of F a rollout? I'm going to just get give you the music? No, you can't do that. You're not hot enough to do that. You took too much time off. When Nipsey died, right? I'm going to tell you something. And this is this is part of why I feel like this is about Big Sean, right? Big Sean featuring Nipsey. Okay. The only song I can find. What's it like? Let me, let me double check on Spotify real quick, okay? Because I'm pretty sure I did this before. Yeah. The only song I can find of Big Sean and Nipsey Hustle is After He Died. After. So he he had it. Right? Or maybe did they do it together? But still, right? All these rappers that want to say, oh, I be Nipsey did it. Where were you when you were on a major label? You're on a major label, right? And you're on a major label from, say, so when did I start? I started working with Nipsey in 2007, right? 2007, 2008, right there. Then Nipsey gets dropped from Sony in around 2010. Nipsey goes indie, right? The time to help Nipsey would have been any time between 2011 and 2015, right? Put him on your album. Do a song with him. Drake did in 2009. Drake threw Nipsey a song in 2009. So never say Drake didn't help people. He did. There was a couple people. The game. These are people that could really say RIP. Uh, I think even... Uh, let's see, J-Rock and them didn't get along so well, but I think they still did a song together. Um, Kendrick probably did, okay? But these are the people that could really like, you know, there's more obviously, but these are the people that could say R.I.P. Nipsey, right? Big Sean and, and Meek Mill, who did nothing with their celebrity at the moment to help Nipsey, is cr that's crazy to go after he de after he passes you're not real for riding through LA with your post 
death nipsey verse you know that that infuriates me when people do that because all you're doing is latching on to a moment and that's fake and big sean knows deep down he's fake for that his last album sold a lot mostly because of the song he did with post malone and post malone's kind of like a cheat code at this point i'm gonna be honest with you he has travis scott post malone are his biggest features and biggest stream songs i don't know if big sean's dropped anything since then i like big sean as an artist but like you know where's the authenticity with artists anymore it's like it doesn't exist you know what do you stand for toby this is a song he, he thinks he's part of the big three and he's not it's really it's delusional what makes you think you're part of the big three it is weird <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you anyways i do respect him doing a song with duelle i haven't seen her around in a minute but is she anyways that's my rant for this for today i mean big sean wake up bro stop being fake bro be yourself right this is jordan tower with jt news smash that like button i'll check you guys in the next one peace